Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Launch CRP919X. First impressions are very high quality. The case is quite an upgrade over previous versions. Inside the carrying case, you've got a storage compartment on the top here, where you'll find the owner's manual, service information, You're also going to find the OBD2 connector. And the charging ports. First look at the unit. This is quite a bit bigger than the previous 129X I did a review on. The CRP919X has the same rugged outer body as previous versions. On the top of the device, you have the power button on the right, OBD2 port in the middle, and a USB-C charger on the left side. On the rear of the device, you actually have a stand, which will allow you to sit the device upright. I've previously registered this device, but it does look like we have quite a few updates to do. Now that the unit has completed all the available updates, I'll show you some of the features it has. Like other versions, this does have a mall setting here. This one will allow you to buy additional software updates. Unlike previous versions, this unit only has two years of free updates compared to lifetime updates with other versions. In the other modules section, you've got some features in here like a camera, which will allow you to take photos, TPM resets in here and a battery voltage test. Once that's attached to the car, you'll be able to see what's going on. In this middle battery function here, you've got the ability to test the battery and starting system of a vehicle. Let's go plug this in and we'll show you some of the features. This vehicle has an auto VIN detection feature. This allows you to plug it into the car and allow the scanner to determine which vehicle you're plugged into. Now that the scanner has determined what vehicle we're in, we're going to run a health report. This is going to check all the modules that are available for each specific car that you're plugged into. And it's going to let you know if there's any fault codes for any of them. Once the report's done, it's going to break it all down for you here. Looking at the health report, we can see that there's a bunch of fault codes here for the power seat. I can verify that is an issue because the driver's seat in this vehicle has intermittent issues where it stops working. The biggest upgrade with this version over previous models like the 129 or the 909 is the ability for bi-directional testing. So we're going to go into the actuation test here. We're going to look at some of the features that it has. So what we're going to do is go into here. We're going to turn this on. And I could hear it clicking under the hood, the relay. Turn on the engine fan for a moment. You can hear the fan fired up. We're going to shut it back off here. So we're going to go into the HVAC module next and see if we can run a test on any of the HVAC system.
So you can hear the fan on the inside is just started. I'm gonna turn it back off there for a moment. We're just gonna look through some of these other functions that are available. So I've just jumped inside of another vehicle here to show you some of the additional features that you'll have options to, depending on the vehicle and the modules that the car has. So going into the PCM module here, we're going to go to the actuations, the engine output controls, get a few options like the compressor relay here. Under the EVAP system here, you've got the option for the purge and vent solenoids. With this specific module also, you've got the purge seal test that you can run. So if you've got an EVAP leak on your vehicle, you've got the option in here to close the vent solenoid and then command the purge while the vehicle is running to see if there's a leak in your EVAP system. We're going to also take a look at the BCM and see some of the options you have. We'll quickly look through some of these other modules that are available here too. One of the final things we're going to look at with this car is some of the reset options it has. One of the most common will be the TPM reset here. This will allow you to reset TPM for each wheel.
the IMMO will allow you to clear and add or remove existing keys. So overall, the CRP919X is quite an upgrade over the 129 or the 909. This has been a brief video of an unboxing and review for the launch CRP919X. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.